Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot different common performance issues you might be having on your Windows 7 computer. So assuming that you're experiencing some performance issues, this tutorial will go over a built-in utility that's in Windows 7 that should hopefully be able to resolve a lot of your guys' issues. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in troubleshoot and one of the best matches that comes up underneath control panel should say troubleshooting you want to left click on that option one time to open it up and now on the left side here you want to left click on this view all hyperlink right here and now you want to left click on the performance option on this list and you can close out or minimize the previous window we were on and there's new windows should say performance at the top, troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems, adjust settings to help improve overall speed and performance. Left click on this advanced hyperlink right here. And you wanna make sure where it says apply repairs automatically, there's a check mark inside of this box immediately to the left side of it. And then you wanna to proceed to left click on next. And it should take a moment. It might say the troubleshooter could not identify the problem and you can view additional information to see what was scanned for. Now, I would definitely recommend that you run some other utilities like a disk cleanup scan, disk defragmenter, antivirus scan to see if there's any malicious activity on your computer. And there's just some good performance utilities you can run as well, but this will hopefully be able to scan for some real issues you have here, like if the Superfetch utility isn't running or you have multiple antiviruses on your, on your computer, it'll be detected here. So it definitely isn't going to find everything, but you know what, if you're really having some serious issues, it should be able to identify it, and it will give you a nice summary down here as well as to what it's scanned for. But I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys get pointed in the right direction. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.